Hello VR shoppers, today we're going to be taking a look at Melita, a human journey on the Gear VR. Uh, I don't know where we are, it's a very nice looking house with some weird towers doing something, I don't know, I guess we'll uh, just have to watch to find out, let's do it. Where are we? I We've don't tried know. to make sense of the stars ever since we were brought here many centuries ago. We've sung and danced naked around the fire. We've caught fish. We've hunted bison. We've used tools. We've become extruders of technological material. We took matter with a low degree of organization and put it through our brains to produce jewelry, gospels, space shuttles. But we have failed. As a civilization, we've failed miserably. Okay. We've failed to see the simplest things, the most obvious ones, the smallest ones. We've lost the connection with the Earth. Sometimes, I wonder if we deserve to be saved. If we should allow ourselves that privilege, or we should go extinct. If we should stop this nonsensical resistance against the natural entropy of the universe, which will turn us again into stellar dust. But then, I think about you, ladies and gentlemen. About you, women and men from the new space frontier. Women and men from the future of this place, a place for the outcast and the brave, a place for those mad to be saved, for those who have decided to put up a fight, to raise your voice one last time, to breathe a little longer. We don't have much time left. Either we leave or we perish. Earth has been humanity's cradle for a very long time. One cannot remain in the cradle forever. Esteemed fellow scientists, engineers, artists, to all our concerns, one answer comes to mind. One man, one exceptional human being, capable of getting us all out of this dying planet. Dear colleagues, with all of you, Anaya Digaitu. I learned a new word the other day. Nostalgia. My language software couldn't process it. Can you explain it to me? Like, oh, she's a robot. Like an emptiness. Like a womb. A few years ago, this was all covered in snow and ice. As far as your eyes could see. It was beautiful. Right. A lot of people from my tribe lived here. We had seasons and plenty of fish to eat. And then they died. Oh. Why did you ask me that? What are you gonna name it? Name what? The planet. When we find it. What are you going to name the planet? I like it. Good name. We will get in that spaceship, the Corsair Princess, what spaceship? and slingshot ourselves to space to travel through thousands of stars and make it our Ooh. new home. <laughs> Aurora! Right.
cool. Killer whales. Oh, what was that? Was that like an interactive sign, was it? I think it was. Malita. Hello? Isn't she cold? I don't think she can feel much, can she? My name is Melita, and I've been active for 1,026 days. They okay. sent me here it's to help time. Anaya find a planet that can be our new home. But we've been doing it for a long time, and it hasn't worked so far. Oh, what was that? Oh, God. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. It's this one, right? I can almost feel your pain. Oh. What? I didn't Hi. see anything. Oh, I'm done with this weather. What? What? You know what I love on a good gray stormy day? To fix the communications antenna by myself while you rest your bionic ass in the dome. <laughs> Somebody needed to take care of the tea? Want some? <sighs> No thanks. Not right now. Did you fix it? Can we get back to work? Yes. Oh. Good morning, James. Can you open the data flow? Reorient the telescope six and eight sixteen degrees north. Copy, boss. Melita, did you try the combinations I gave you before it went off? Leda, Drea Nebula, Vega. No, I'll do that as soon as you reboot the system. Oh, and you also need to fix the bird. What bird? The one on the table. Oh. Molita. You can't fix it? Why? You fixed Tao last week when he broke. It doesn't work that way. Living creatures, they can't be fixed. When living things die, they die. Finito. Kaput. You cannot fix them. Oh. 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 What? What? Did you find it? Is there a match? What? Oh, no. False alarm again. Sulfuric concentrations are too high. Humans. Ghost driving meat coated skeletons made from stardust. What do you have to be scared of? Wow. Some days I wonder if we're looking in the right place. Humans are very short sighted sometimes. But of course, <laughs> I wasn't designed to think, just to analyze data. That's what my quantum brain does best. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, she fell off, she fell off. Grab my head. Uh oh. Come on. Grab it, you're a freaking robot. Oh. Come on. Okay. Oh. That was close. Very close. Thank you. What happened? The ice broke. No. You scared me. Oh. I, I can't do this without you. 
I'm sorry. Yeah. No. It's okay. L let's go. We have work to do. Living creatures can't be fixed. That's what she said. <laughs> but she feared for me. She feared that I could break. Maybe I am alive. Water and light. That's really all you need. Well, and the right amount of heat and a fertile soil, and about a hundred million more things to be in place. On an infinite universe, that shouldn't be that difficult to find. But of course, it also needs to be within the limited reach of human limits. And we're on a short deadline. What can go wrong? Everything. Phil, hello, Council. I hope you were doing great. Hmm. Any significant advances? Not really. We found a nice lava planet, though. Perfect as a warm holiday destination. And I, I, you know you have our full support, but maybe we need to start thinking about alternatives. We're running out of time. The launch window will close in a few weeks if we don't make it on this one. But... I know. It could be decades. Between you and I? Oh. I don't think this planet is going to last that long. Maybe it's time to start thinking out of the box. I... I think we are really close, sir. Keep trying. Over and out. Yeah, I keep trying, yeah. Oh dear. Oh, what are we doing? Are we going on a trip? Wow. Ah, the water looks great. How do you think life will be up there? I don't know. I wish I knew. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Do you think we will be the same? What you or mean? Will it change us? I don't know. I've asked myself the same question thousands of times. What is it that makes us human? And will that change when we are out of our home? Yeah. Melita. Do you remember something before they activated you? I remember many things. Many images. Beautiful landscapes. Galaxies. Incredible structures. 
In my dreams, I often see vast golden grass fields that extend to where the eyes can see. I've seen giant doors lit in the middle of black holes and entire worlds inside the petal of a rose. But I don't know if these are dreams or memories. If they were there in my brain or I've really been in those places. You are a really special being. You know that, right? Very special, yeah. She's got glowing cheeks, for God's sake. Atmosphere damage, 98. Sea level rise, 23, 23 foot. Oh dear. Well, that's not good, is it, love? Can you not find another planet? Can't we just live on Mars? from her and never say anything. It's gonna die, isn't it? Sorry, bear. Okay. What's up, man? What? 
no vera. I don't know. She decided you don't really deserve it. <laughs> you know, humans. You won't make it. Oh dear. You've rerouted through a black hole, silly. And the solar panel's problem is not solved. The batteries won't make it. Oh, please. Please, please don't do this. Please, listen to me. This is not fair, Melita. She didn't. Oh, God. Run, love, run. Run, run, run. Do not leave me alone. Oh, dear. I, I think she's gone, love. Ditch the bitch, let's go. Corral love. spaceship than this journey this is just the beginning I'm gonna do right. the easy part find that planet your mission now is finding a way to bring the rest of humanity here with you to make them travel through wormholes ride next to asteroids and land them safely and I know you can do it I trust in you. I'll see you in a Oh. To be continued. Well, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That was uh, Melita, A Human Journey. Uh i got to be honest, it's pretty emotional. It's pretty dark, to be honest, as well. Graphics are just absolutely beautiful. They might be sort of below polygon, but the 3D's great. The colours are great. Uh, the characters are believable as well. It just looks all absolutely fantastic. I'm such a personal fan of great 360 animations like this. I know that, you know... They can be seen as a little boring because you can't really interact with this at any point. But for storytelling and things like that, I mean, this is just an amazing story and a very thought for broken one as well. If you like this sort of thing, maybe give it a go. Anyway, please do visit the website link in the description box below for full review and download links. And please do click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Whether give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Please do leave a comment in the box below as your feedback is essential in helping this channel grow. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below. What would you have done? Would you have gone alone? Or would you have taken her with you? Thanks for watching. <laughs>